Good morning, I am comedian Haley Boyle, and I am making this video for myself today because I need to remember some things. Holy crap. Okay, I've had a very, very long night um, up with the baby. He had some nightmares last night, and I have been dealing with a very intense rage towards my son's father. Um, just knowing the future suffering my son's going to go through because of this guy just fucking makes me want to rip his fucking throat out. But uh, if you watch the videos, you know that he popped up um, recently and said he wanted to see us. Um, and then, you know, basically immediately reverted back to old behavior. Oh, uh, the notifications didn't come through. Oh, I, I'm so busy job hunting. I'm so busy this weekend. Um, I have a lot of therapy sessions. I've been working really hard on myself, all this crap. Um, and I, I told him straight up, pick any time, any time at all, and I will make it work. Um, so <laughs> the dog's about to puke on my lap. She's really been screwing up my video flow lately. <laughs> this dog owner shit's not going great. Holly, Holly, honey. Can we chill for a minute? Mom's trying to do a video. Thank you. Good girl. She's real cute. Oh, you want to look up? Anyway, back to the point. Point being, um, he narrowed it down to two days. Never heard from him the first day. Um, the second day started off in the morning with car trouble. And then I, of course, offered to pick him up, knowing full well that he was going to think of an excuse not to. And then he waited until like 40 minutes before I was supposed to pick him up to be like, oh, my schedule changed, blah, blah, blah. And I, of course, was not freaking impressed by this nonsense. The same old bullshit he always pulls. And he does his stupid thing like, oh, well, first sign of me having to go to work, blah, blah, blah. Let me explain something to you about this man. He's not a smart man. He's a pathological liar. And something I didn't know until I dated him is that pathological liars are classically not good liars. Um, which seems weird to me because I always say if you're going to do something, do it well. Um... But he knows that his two shields that he can argue confidently are work and church. And he knows he can't use church on me anymore because it's way too easy for me to check up on those kind of lies, which is what he tried to pull. This is just the same fucking shit he pulled when I was pregnant and he was fucking cheating on me. And instead of just fucking being honest about it, he was a fucking douche about it. And he stole my shit and he ruined my fucking life and destroyed my peace and made me paranoid, and made me afraid to hang out with my own fucking friends. And just made it a fucking nightmare. And then when he finally did fucking come clean, he still ditched out on the baby and expected me to be like happy for him, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what he fucking expected, but he constantly acts like I am just this unhinged fucking bitch. And look at my eyes. I am becoming a fucking unhinged bitch because I never fucking sleep. And I'm so fucking sick of people being like, well, a lot of people are single moms. Well, a lot of people aren't me. And a lot of people aren't my kid, and I am not fucking good at doing this by myself. I am a weird-ass artist, and I'm used to taking five days at a time to do my fucking art without sleeping or eating. And having to be on a 24-hour schedule every fucking day and never getting to sleep is making me a fucking lunatic. And I fucking hate this man. Gotta hate this man. So, imagine being so unlucky and so ridiculous that the one day out of two and a half years that you decided to actually see your son... Your car breaks down and your schedule changes. And even though you had to job hunt all weekend because you're unemployed, it's super, super important that you show up for this shift, that, for this job that you claimed you didn't have just days ago. Anyway, I'm making this video because I need to stop going over it in my head. I need to stop thinking that, like, because I, because he was like, well, we'll reschedule for this. And I was just like, fuck this shit. You know, and I feel a little bad about it because I'm like, you know, because even a friend of mine was like, well, sometimes people have to cancel. And I'm like, this isn't canceling. This is not the same as canceling. This isn't something came up. This is him in his web of lies and the bizarre reality that he paints so that he can live with himself. And it fucks with me. And I don't want to be fucked with, especially when there's no payoff. He's never going to show up. He's never going to be there for his son. He's never going to be an asset in any way. His word will never mean anything. I swear, even if he did show up, it would just be a fucking hassle because the guy is short-tempered and closed-minded and he was raised wrong by trash fucking people that stomped out any good part of him and beat this fucking evil fucking asshole into him. And I need to fucking stop. 
We are better off without him. He's never, ever going to change. He's not remotely different than he was three years ago. Not even a tiny fucking bit. Not even to the point of just thinking of a halfway believable lie. Like, I knew what he was going to say and do before he did it. And he doesn't even bother with all of them. Like, if you give him a list of all the shit he obviously is full of shit about, he'll only give you an excuse for half... He knows he's full of shit, but he needs it to be my fault. And I'm just going to have to let it be that way. I'm just going to have to let it be that way. Because otherwise I'm going to spend the rest of my fucking life making myself sick with rage over this piece of fucking human garbage. And my time would be a lot better spent trying to find somebody to be a fucking father figure to this boy. And please don't fucking tell me he doesn't need one. Don't fucking tell me he doesn't need one because he asks me. And I sure as fuck has not brought it up. I don't mention that man. He doesn't see pictures of him or anything. But he asks me, where's dad? I would look for dad. Dad not here. So don't fucking tell me he doesn't need one. I'm very happy if you grew up without one and you turned out great. And I'm sure Robin will too. But it really, really, really bothers me when I tell people that I want something and they tell me I don't need it. Fuck you. You don't know what the fuck I need. Yeah, he'll be fine. We'll be fine. But for the love of Christ, I just want to let this motherfucker go. I just want to be free of this fucking human anchor trash can piece of shit motherfucker. Ugh! And Omar, if you're watching, and I know you are because you fucking stalk me, even though you don't have the balls to talk to me, you're the same. You are the same as him. You are the same selfish piece of shit that puts yourself before your children, that does not give a fuck about anyone's feelings or comfort but your own. And I'm so fucking glad to be rid of you too. Goodbye. Goodbye, fucking losers. Goodbye, fucking assholes. Goodbye, shitty fathers. Goodbye, fucking liars. Goodbye.